Hey everybody, how are you doing? In this video, we are going to see a quick and simple solution that let's say that you're trying to use a virtual machine and it's extremely slow. It is causing you a lot of pain in all the day to day operations. So what you can do to speed up your virtual machine in this video, we are going to see exactly that. So you have to follow each and every single step like I'm showing you right now. So first of all, we need to close out of here. You can either close it from here or you can just go in the start menu in the virtual machine and click on uh, this power button right here. As you can see, it's really slow. Just click on shutdown. It's even taking a lot of time in shutting it down. Uh, now, after shutting it down, you can check the device configuration. You can edit the virtual machine settings. Let's say if I want to increase the memory and just check the capacity of your PC. Just write this PC here. Let's go to the desktop right here. Just right click and go to the properties. I have 8 GB of installed RAM. So what I can do is just click on edit virtual machine and allocate half of that to virtual machine. So this will really improve the performance and rest all of the settings should be kept as it is. Click OK and then we will try running the virtual machine. But before that, we just close out of here altogether and we will make some changes in the main windows so that it can run smoothly on windows. Now in your main windows, you can just go to the start menu and right here, core isolation, just click here. Now you can turn it off basically the memory integrity that prevents attacks from inserting the malicious code into your high security process. So this system is enabled by default now on Windows 11. Uh, but if you are facing a lot of problems in using the virtual machine, you can turn this off temporarily. And whenever you uh, don't need the virtual machine, you can turn it back on. You need to restart your device in order to make these changes. So after that, you can just restart your PC and just try running the virtual machine that should solve your problem. Otherwise, we can make some other adjustments as well. Let me show you. Now what more we can do is just close out of here and in your main windows again, you can just uh, go to start menu and write here CMD. Just right click here and click on run as administrator. Click yes. Now here we will write this command that I will link in the description. You can just check that out. Just copy and paste that directly in the command prompt and that should work. Uh, bcd edit give it a space forward slash set give a space again hypervisor we will write here and then write launch type this all should be one word without any spaces and then give a space and write off here hit enter and it will immediately show this cooperation is completed successfully now, after that, you can also check if the problem is resolved. If not, you can just move to the third solution. Now you can just write here, turn windows feature. As soon as you write turn, it will uh, show you this option, turn windows feature on or off. Just click here. Now, if you see anything like a hyperview folder, just like these ones, I don't have this in my current version, but if you do, uh, just uncheck that and click OK. So in some of the windows, it mentions hypervisor platform and in some it is hyper V. So you can just uh, uncheck that and click OK. And after that, if you have made any changes, it will take some time to process when you click OK and then it will ask you to restart that system. So I'm going to restart my main system here. So let me just quickly do it. Now, after restarting, guys, we can start our virtual machine again and hopefully the problem will be resolved. Let me just quickly test that. So let's click here. As we can see here, we have changed the memory and we have made a couple of settings in the main system. So let's click on power on this virtual machine and let's see how it works now. As we can see here, it's super fast now. You might experience a little bit slow down in the starting because it will make these changes. And when you try to start it the next time, it will run smoothly. As you can see here, it quickly loads in and just let me just put username and password real quick. And let me just make it full screen because we need to make some settings here as well. All right. So after that, if you want to make some of the changes to make virtual machine work even faster, what we can do here, guys, uh, just go here in this PC, 
uh, just right here this PC or otherwise if you don't see the icon you can just uh, for now just click on the folder and you will find this PC right here now right click and click on properties here and from here just click on advanced system settings and here you can uh, just go to this advanced option where you have the visual effects processor scheduling and memory usage something like that just click on uh, settings and you can choose your customized settings so for example if you want to turn it back to uh, best performance settings although you won't see much of the features and it will be greatly reduced but if this is what you want just click on apply and click ok and that should work even faster now so that's it this is how you can do it guys you can just turn it off and restart to see how it works now and just guys also comment down below if this works fine also if you want to see other amazing techniques on this topic you can check out the playlist link in the description and i'll see you in the next one